Okay, so after the disaster, where the uh, managed to smash the screen, which apparently is not uncommon, um, gone through uh, mostly working out as you're going along how to remove it. I've looked online, couldn't find anything. Uh, basically, the gist of it is you've got to remove the front console, all the bolts that hold this in place. That literally just sits up. Underneath here, you've got uh, two screws, or sorry, two bolts that are holding it in place. One there and one just there. And then you have to remove all the way up here. I went down a bit further back here, these as well. I'm not sure if that's needed. But um, here you've got another two bolts either side, and then there are two more here, which I've undone to the screws, which you undo from the top here. So that's uh, they're easy. And now I'm at the point where I'm just about to try and extract it. It's all free. These are these were awkward. These are clips. There's three either side that you literally have to force force this up. Um, literally with a bit of force. Okay, so the glass is now removed. Or well, the front screen is removed. Fairly straightforward actually. Um, I didn't really need to undo any of the back. Everything forward of these is really all that you need. It's pulling these clips out, which can be awkward. I'm sure putting them back in is going to be just as awkward. Um, but that's basically what holds the screen in place, as well as obviously the bolts, uh, the two bolts that will be secured down inside. But, uh, yeah, it, uh, it's a good opportunity to check everything internally here because there's a lot of dirt that seems to get in. So I've cleaned it out as much as I can. Um, I'll uh, go through it. And I know someone's advised me to fit uh, mud deflectors underneath here, which is something I've ordered. Uh, we'll see when they arrive how to fit them to uh, avoid the dirt getting flung up inside the, the, well, behind the dash. Okay, so managing to get the screen, the new screen in. Um, fitting these was straightforward. You just guide these in. First thing is to put the two plugs in at the top, but there are two collars, two aluminium collars around these that you have to get them on first before you can put the, the nuts back and getting those in is a bit of a pain because you then it all ties in with lining up this which i haven't quite done yet which basically i have to try and pull this whole thing forward so that this fits into the seal which it isn't doing just yet um, i managed to get the two collars back in on the bolts and this is why you need to undo the sides right the way down here as I've discovered so that you can actually get right in to access under here otherwise it's uh, very very difficult. Here's a good tip if uh, the heads of the, the bolts are uh, looking a bit worn or scratched like these ones what you can do is just shove them into uh, a bit of card like this and then get a bit of spray not too much there you go that'll do them make them look a bit nice and fresh okay so Someone advised to fit uh, a deflector to stop mud and debris getting flicked up inside the cockpit here. So uh, I looked at the options and 
basically decided upon a simple solution, which is uh, just fitting uh, my deflector to the current guard. So this fits in perfectly just around, doesn't touch, obviously wheel in operation, and uh, literally is just out of the way, so it uh, blocks dirt and debris. Um, hopefully anyway.